Yo, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel All of Mars, where music is life, and I'll jam till I'm dead. Today, it's part four. So we're going to go through about ten more tracks on the old loop station. Um, just going to, you know, uh, if, if you haven't seen the other ones, basically I'm just going through um, all my uh, pre-recorded loops that I've had for like a few years now. And uh, just kind of revisiting them and just kind of just seeing how they are and uh, maybe it'll re-spark some um, interest in trying to go back and make those like full-time songs or whatever. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to get started, jump right into it. Uh, we're on track 31. track i don't know it has this kind of uh, uh i guess a desert feel i don't know uh actually um so you hear that like swell in the back like, it's like um i added that like uh later actually because this uh this is a pretty old loop but um yeah, I didn't have any like reverb or any special effects like that. So I, um, after I got the avalanche run, I just um, went back and added that. And um, so I, I had to make sure like I was like satisfied with it, and I am um, because like once I overdub and save it, like I can't erase like the that last um, you know that last layer or whatever. So uh, yeah, there's that one. Um, Obviously, it's repetitive because it's just what, four or five second loop over and over. Um, but yeah, I'm, I like that one. That one always uh, kind of stuck in my head. Uh, for the uh, this, pause this real quick. For the tone that I'm that I was using right now, so you can like kind of hear it like. For that, I'm using the Warden, which is a compressor, just to kind of help uh, boost the tone a bit. And I got the plumes. Everything's pretty much set around 9, 10 o'clock on the knobs, and I'm on mode 1. And after that, I'm going into, into the Rainbow Machine. And I have the Magic and the Tone knob maxed out with the primary about, mm, I'd say like 1 to 2. The pitch around one, secondary at around noon, and then the trekking uh, backed all the way off, so counterclockwise. Um, so, and then um, for a reverb, I'm using the Avalanche Run. The mix is about like mm, two o'clock, almost three o'clock, and the decay is like right at noon. So with all those, um, it's a pretty nice tone. <laughs> Just kind of like a. Um, I don't know, pretty atmospheric, pretty moody, like wavy, modulated a little bit. Um, yeah, um, the Rainbow Machine is awesome. It's it's crazy because like it's so subtle, but you can get it to sound like just absurd. I mean, just so yeah, 
it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's my newest Earthquaker, and um, it's it's dope, dude. Uh, I barely, you know, scratch the surface on it, but um, yeah, I'm excited to see what else it can sound like with other pedals and whatnot. So yeah, we're gonna move on to the next loop. at the time and like what effects I had and didn't have so I was kind of just experimenting with the delay uh, the trails and all that um, and um, it's on me I, you know it's on me but like there's so many ideas that I have um, and I know I'm not the only one it's like a thing but I'll just I'll go over this one loop all right cool um, and I'll just move on to something else. It's it's a bad habit. Like I should really sit down and grind it out. But um, it's okay. Like um, I guess the point. That's better than like having no idea at all. You know what I mean? Like you can always go back and add to or or whatever. Um, that's why I love about the loop station um, specifically. And there's other um, loopers out there like way more better ones and fucking hundreds of dollars worth um but this one just you know i like how simple it is and um yeah dude it's just um the only really advice i would say is just to record whatever you whatever you got going on um don't think about like oh it's, it's you know i have i have to make it into a song or blah 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 because um you just want to get your ideas uh, on paper um you know what i mean like you, you just want to get it down so you can come back to it anyways all right guys we're gonna move on to the next one done by my brother um, sometimes like we'll want to just kind of like try to like you know noodle over or practice or do some scales or whatever and um, this is just a really good like backing track if you want to go ham on some solo -y stuff admittedly I'm, I'm not a solo guy like that was pretty shitty what I just did to be honest um, I was just for demonstrative purposes but 
I don't know. I, like even like like back then when I would try to like learn, I, I never really obsessed over solos. Like I, I like them, but to me, like you can't beat a good riff. Like I don't know. It's it's funner for me to play like a solid riff than to just like go ham on soloing. Uh, it's it's not really my thing. I'm a rhythm kind of guy anyway. So next track, you guys. This riff, um, this loop, actually, uh, this was like literally the, the the first loop that I made when I got my Tube Screamer. So I have a, a Tube Screamer Mini from Ibanez, and um, it was my first like real overdrive. I had a distortion, a DS1, um, but honestly, like I didn't really understand like effects, and um, if any if anything, I thought like um, distortion is like either have overdrive or distortion and I'm like thinking in my head like oh distortion like you know the heavier the better blah 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 but man like I, I didn't know much about effects and all that and um obviously like you want to start with like a good overdrive because that's gonna like be your core the core of your tone uh if you're doing like anything really like rock and roll or you know metal uh you want a good tube screamer so when I um because I would try the DS1 on its own, and it, it, I don't know if it was like a user error, but like I would try to mess with it, and it would just sound really like, like tinny, like very, like flat, like it would be distorted, but it would just feel kind of like hollow to me, I don't know, but when I, uh, I turned this on, and I just started strumming, and it had that, that sound, you know what I'm saying, like, um, it's a classic, like, overdriven sound, and it, um, so I just started looping i just was like on a roll and i'm like fuck it i'm looping this shit um so it got it had it kind of has like a like an upbeat almost i don't want to say ska but like some kind of you know it has some movement to it so i was just rocking out you know and uh that's what came out uh, that was pretty good or whatever like fun little thing so yeah i was i was just i just remember being like really stoked on it and i was like holy shit you know um you know my first overdrive so yeah that, that's what that is <laughs> um you know how like they say like oh your gear or your tone will inspire uh, a certain way for you to play which is very true because i don't even know i don't know you guys tell me what that uh genre or whatever that is but um i was just excited and, and maybe you know want to play like slidey power chord stuff so that was that uh tired of like jamming to the drum beat on the loop station because it would just be very stock like no fills it's decent to get your idea across and you know to stay on tempo but um you know i wanted a little bit of like a human feel and uh, at the time i didn't have drums or i don't know any drummers or anything like that so i just would do that um so just a funny little loop i don't even i don't even know what i'm supposed to like play over that like 
it's kind of a weird chord progression, but, uh, Next track. This one, uh, I just came up with that little tappy intro, so it, was, it goes something like uh, uh, something like this. So I was like playing around and um, so yeah, I was like trying to harmonize. I was like kind of like like uh, trying to find out where that second part would be. Something somewhere like that. So it would be like So yeah, a little um a little more metal on that. Uh I don't know, I, I like that one. Um, I just gotta progress it, you know? Like, that's kind of like why I'm doing this. It's just to kind of like remind myself and to show you guys like, uh, I don't know, just what was going on and what's on the loop station. Uh, it's pretty solid, you know, if I do say so myself. You know, you can add like a nice, like in the background or whatever. Something like that. Um, yeah, it's uh, just trying to make more metal on, on that one. So, all right, next track. So, uh, I think <laughs> for loops like this, um, sometimes we'll kind of just hit record and just just go on from there and just try to find something in there so really it's not like a perfect loop or anything like that it's just uh i don't know i haven't heard this i don't even know i don't even know how long so um to me it sounds like uh, i was yeah, just messing around with uh, some reverb from the Avalanche Run, and then that little bit of you know over overdrive sound is from the Tube Screamer. Which honestly, like if if you if those are like the only two like effects you have, like something overdriven and then like a nice reverb, <laughs> I mean, what really more do you need? And, and for me, like I'm just obsessed with like guitar pedals and um, combinations and stuff like that. So, but um but I, I admit like for me like my favorite um guitar effect ever is reverb like straight up reverb um 
because it's it's the most like I don't know uh, it's like the most versatile, well known, useful thing. I mean, it's it's natural. Like if you think about it, you're playing or in a hall or on stage, or whatever. You're gonna hear the reverberation from you know your environment and all that. So, uh, I don't know. It's my favorite. Next track. tracks I can kind of hear how um, like my tone progresses so like right now like, obviously you hear the overdrive it's like a I, th I guess like a touch of reverb so yeah I'm just um, just trying to find tones man like I yeah if, if you don't have like any effects um, or you don't know where to begin I would suggest like as far as pedals honestly first get, get a looper so you can like store your ideas and then after that I would probably get like an overdrive that way you can like uh, layer clean parts and do like some like overdriven solo work or like literally the opposite so record something overdriven and then play something clean over it like a, a nice lead or whatever um, it's crazy how like your effect chain and whatever like you know change the way like you approach it you know guys okay so uh this one uh, i believe yeah i was <laughs> okay because um i have this uh, drum pad and so i would hook it up uh, and program the drums so I, I would like set up certain you know uh double like the bass and what a blah 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 and uh so my brother would be on guitar and i'd be on the <laughs> The drum pad literally like trying to make beat, um like blast or whatever uh, and then we'd switch off actually uh it's this one right here so, um i bought like a bundle pack of uh studio one uh when i was like trying to get into like recording and stuff and uh <laughs> i've only really utilized that and the microphone and i have the program but i I just did not like it. I don't like the format. So uh, for me, I feel Studio works the best. Um, so yeah, uh, I would just use that. So yeah, here goes. <laughs> tell like we're you know, like when, when my uh, when my brother and I would like jam like I mean I don't I don't really know how other people jam but we do not go in like oh we're gonna play on this chord and uh, or this key and the, the, um, this time change and dude fuck that 
I mean, if it works for some people, that's cool, but, like, I just can't, that's too much for my, my fucking head, so it would just, like, the way I approach it, like, for the most part, it's, it's all, ain't nothing but a jam, y'all, you know what I'm saying, like, it, just have fun, like, it's, I don't know, I, I don't, Yeah, dude, it should, it should just be fun, honestly, like, of course, in the beginning, like, it's tough, and, and you want to just be really good and all, but, like, as long as you're having fun, that's the whole fucking point, like, ever, like, if, you know what I'm saying, like, uh, like, there is a joy in, like, grinding, and, like, you know, trying to get a perfect scale down, or hold the chord down, of course, but at the end of the day, like, you, like, you play the guitar, you don't work the guitar, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so yeah. I don't know how long this, this one goes on, but it's going. Distorted tone. I, re I remember specifically um, we're using an MXR full, uh, full board metal, which, like on its own, it's actually a pretty good pedal. Like you can get pretty distorted with it. Um, it served its purpose, and uh, like since from since then on, like we've got better distortion and you know more pedals and all that. But for what it was, like it's it's not a bad pedal. Yeah, I just um, just want to go over some more loops for you, with you guys, and uh, yeah, this is uh, yeah, I believe part four. Let's see. Yeah. So for this one, it sounds like we're just kind of just going going off. Just uh, it's a pretty long loop, so. look the same you know like the same color and whatnot so so I'm literally like like trying to do you know shit uh, yeah we're just having fun though. Uh, yeah that's it but yeah thanks for watching you guys um, you know it's it's fun looking back at this and uh, I don't know just kind of revisiting stuff I understand like for you guys it's like new and you're like who the hell's this guy but yeah i just want to put my stuff out there you know uh, if you guys have like thoughts or any comments or anything like just let me know too don't be shy um and i'll be back soon with uh the fifth installment of loops so uh we're up to track 40 now so yeah, almost almost halfway there but uh yeah i'm gonna check out you guys you guys have a good rest of your day and uh thanks for watching thanks for listening stay tuned um i got more stuff lined up and uh i'm gonna, gonna share some more tones with you guys so this has been all of mars peace out y'all <laughs>